Hello brothers, good evening. Uh, today, uh, this is Mohamed Rafi from AFA Solutions. Today, I am uploading an antique case study. Okay, and uh, I have a laptop here. Let me show you the model. This is an Acer laptop. Okay, and uh, ES1 131. Actually, the board number is uh, ZK ZHK. Let me show you the board number. I hope you can see here. ZHK. The case when I got this laptop was, uh, it was a unique problem. So I don't want to actually reverse the case. How I did it? The 3.3 volts coil was shot. Okay. I will show you very clearly. Watch carefully what I have done. First step. I found that my 3.3 volts coil was short. So I removed the 3.3 volts inductor. You can see here I have removed this inductor. It is no use for me now. Okay. So when I started working, uh, you won't believe it, it took me more than two hours. When I started working, I came to note that this 3.3 volts IC is burnt. The track was completely burnt inside. See here. Let me show you. This is a 3.3 volt standby IC. This is a 5 volt standby IC. Okay, this is a 5 volt coil, 3.3 volts coil. The complete track was burnt. I swapped from other board also the IC. Still, it was not working because this corner is broken. If you see, this corner is broken. So, with the help of the buck controller, you can see I have used a buck controller here. I have converted the buck control to 3.3 volts. Okay, here I have converted. I have injected my 5 volts positive and negative. So the 5 volts I have taken from my 5 volt standby section positive point. Okay, and in the output I have given 3.3 volts. So when I injected 3.3 volts from this buck controller, this voltage dropped to 3.3 volts, again, uh, 0.8 volts. Again, this voltage dropped to 0.8 volts. Again, I was confused. What was the exact problem? So after few research AFS techniques, so I came to know that this 1.8 volts IC was short. This was faulty. Okay. So I have removed this IC also. You can see here. I have removed this IC. I have replaced this IC also 1.8 volts. After replacing this IC. Okay. I found that my 3.3 volt short has gone. Okay. And uh, LDO I checked, IO was short, I replaced the IO from another board. So isolating this uh, DC to DC MOSFET. So everything was clear. Now, after now 3.3 volts, everything was clear. My DC reading, it came as per my requirement, what I was expecting. I got the voltage at my on off switch also. But the laptop was not powering on. The only step which was missed in this was a small step. I will show you closely. You put the light and show you if you see very closely from this 3.3 volts I have put a jumper here at pin number 4 this pin number 4 of this IC is power good let me show you in schematics yeah when you see in schematics you can see that here I have power good you can see power good the power good is also my 3.3 volts always. Who is this 3.3 volts always? It is coming from outside the coil. You can see after the inductor it is coming. That's why I have taken this output from here. I have taken the output from here. I have put a jumper to my power good. Okay. So let me fix this to my display. Okay. Let me fix this here. Now I have fixed the display connector to the board. Okay. Let me open the screen. I have opened the screen. Let me connect my DC power supply to the board. I am connecting the DC power supply to the board. Okay. Here I am connecting it. I have connected the DC power supply. 
you can see the reading 36 so i wanted that reading so for the 36 reading only i was working out now i am pressing power button you can see the ampere is going for 220 129 and 182 and now you can see the display has come you can see actually the display is broken but the display has come let me power it off let me press it again so i have pressed the power button laptop is on and you can see display come thank you for watching okay see unless and until if you don't read schematics okay unless and until if you don't read schematics it is very difficult for an engineer to repair and laptop so mandatorily you must know how to repair a laptop if you want to know how to repair a laptop you have to learn schematics this is what i teach अगर स्कीमेटिक आ गया सीखने का तो आप ऑलमोस्ट कोई भी लैपटॉप किसी तरह से अल्टर करके आप बना सकते हैं थैंक यू